I mean, some of this stuff just goes to show you how much of a narcissistic system that we live in. And people don't want to mix racism and narcissism and sociopathy or uh, uh, psychopaths in the same breath. They have a hard time with saying it together and mentioning these uh, entities in the same breath. I mean, just like right here, Governor Walker lost. Scott Walker lost. And um, any sane and rational person would accept the defeat, move on, or run again, of course, like he has the option to do. But these people are throwing up all kinds of red flags. That's why, you know, people don't want to believe what through politics. So that's a watch. Because the same narcissistic program begins to continue to get fed. We have to deal with white fragility. We have to deal with the fragileness of these supremacist mindset that they'll kill people because they feel their power slipping away. And I know a lot of y'all say, well, why don't why black people are concerned about everybody? And why can't they just first of all, in my opinion, if you know that you're the original people. The first people that God made. How can you not be concerned with everything that came after you? You the first. Everything came from you. So whether you like it or not, you are a moral compass for humanity. Whether you like it or not, you you are who the, the universe deemed first. Everything come after you. So sometimes it seems like we love to a fault. Yes, most indigenous people do. Because we're not... Uh, devilistic in nature. And so people that are um, um, grassroots, more spiritually based, they'll probably be more empathetic in my opinion. So you got to think of a society that has been groomed in white supremacy. And like I said, this has hurt them way worse or just as bad or this, as it's hurt us. And I say worse because they got power to do something with their crazy mixed up thoughts and that is to inflict pain and then have all these institutions back them up in their madness. We don't have that option. We don't have anybody to back us up in our righteousness. Okay? Because everybody want to be free. Nobody wants to be a victim and have mental fatigue from racial uh, onslaught every single day. Nobody wants to live like that. And if anybody thinks somebody does, then that that's there. You go again, show you how insane they are. People are mad at black people because we are a victim of white supremacy. You've driven half of us mad. So when you start going, look at all the crimes you commit. Look at all the rapes you... Stop saying that because you are the master raper. You have victimized people to the point that they can't think straight. Then you got a society that's gaslighting and continuing to perpetrate your mental illness. That's a problem. I want to talk about white fragility. The mindset of white folk. That they cannot, they have, there's a cognitive dissonance. Again, they cannot handle the truth. So when you put the truth in their face and let them know, listen, this is supremacist. And you're not going to get it right. I don't expect you to get it right the first time. But don't tell me how many black people you have in your family. Don't tell me how you know you're not racist because you went to uh, a high school and you got uh black people again in your family and you went to you live in a no you went to a, a high school that had blacks um that's not the premise and that's not the curve in which you are judged you can't help but being a racist in a racist society that has given you power to see the world even if you poor you're not poor and black. So if you don't have a job, don't blame me. If you don't have 
what you want out of this nation. Don't blame me because your color alone, if you just clean yourself up and do something about it, you got a winning ticket. And it's very hypocritical for a lot of you to dismiss the factor of racism um, and the narcissistic way in which this country was built. You don't want to talk about it because a group of people would have to be mad to enslave and to, first of all, wipe out a Native population before you got here. That's psychotic. To bring people and beat them and make them work against their will, even if you had an indentured servant, I could take that. But indefinite servitude and to beat them and to whip them and to rape them and castrate them and to um, perpetrate all manners of ill against these people, burn them at the stake, hang them by the noose. And you got nerve to be mad at us? No, you are mad because you're so afraid that we're going to do to you what you've done to us. And so you got white supremacists running around, shooting black people like cowards, bringing the system, the, the, the behavior back full circle like it was when I was coming up. Or, um, the terrorism of the Ku Klux Klan, the terroristic behavior of people perpetrating like law enforcement, and the drama continues. The mental onslaught continues. And so for all of y'all up there that don't want to acknowledge that the problem in this country, and when we talk about narcissism and um, uh, personality disorders and sociopaths, all of this is the behavior of the people that started this country. And they have justified this abuse and relegated it to a class of individuals that look like me and have given you a false sense of who you are. Because if it wasn't for me, there would be no you. I'm the Eve of the earth. All nations come from me. And with that being said, you don't know how to honor your mother or your father. That's the sad part about it all. But this is not going to continue, and it's all coming from the just the reflection of the cowardness of white men that kill, bomb little girls in church, white men who shoot little girls on highways, or white men who kill little 12 year old boys in parks. This is just a remnant of this behavior and this system. These laws that were implemented that were implemented in 1671 and the uh, 1640s, we got to go back here and get this stuff rectified. We got to deal with white fragility. We got to deal with white people acting like uh, racism is not a problem and that they got white black people in their family and so they remain silent with all this uh, mayhem is going on towards us. I'm sick of it. It's sickening. And it really does need to stop. This is the most violent country in the world. This is a country where we eating off ourselves. We putting our own selves in jail. We got more kids in, you know, in the United States in prison than all the kids combined in all the countries. You got more black men in prison than all the women population. What is going on? This is a cesspool. And if we don't wake it up and understand that you can't kill God, and you can't, if you don't understand that, so go us. There go you. We in this shit together. You are not going to survive trying to kill us. It don't work that way.
The last shall be first and the first shall be last. I'll see you in the next video.